Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of interior angles of a polygon. We're going to try to answer the following question. What is the value of the sum of the interior angles of a polygon? If we concentrate on polygon 1, notice that here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different interior angles. And what we want to know is what value will we get if we add all of them up? Well, one thing to notice is that notice that I can choose a vertex and I can start connecting this vertex to all the other vertex within this polygon. So let me connect this vertex to the one that we have here. And notice that by doing so, I have created one triangle. Notice that I can repeat this process and now let me connect that same vertex to the following one. So now notice that we have two triangles and we can repeat the same process. Same vertex, now let me connect it to the one that follows. That's another triangle. And notice that here we have a fourth triangle. So one thing to notice is that this figure that had six different sides, we were able to break it down into four different triangles. One, two, three, and four. So let's take a look at example two now. Let me choose a vertex. I want to connect this vertex to all the other vertices within this polygon. So we're going to start with this one. Now let's move on to the next one that follows. And notice that by doing so, we have created a triangle. Let's move on to the next one. Notice that we have broke down the figure into two triangles. Let's move on to the next one. We have created another triangle and let's move on to the last one. And notice that by doing so, we have created another triangle. So now let's see. This polygon had six different sides. And notice that we were able to break this down into four different triangles. That's my first. That's my second. That's my third. And that's my fourth. Now let's take a look at the third polygon. So again, let me start by choosing a vertex and I'm going to approach it the same way. Let me try to connect it to all the other vertices. Notice that by doing so, we have created one triangle. Let's move on to the next one. That's two triangles. That's three triangles. And that's four different triangles. So let's summarize this. So notice that this figure that also has six different sides, we were able to break it down into four different triangles. That's one. That's two three and that's four. One observation that we can make is that if we take a look at the number of sides and we subtract it two, we will get the number of triangles that we can break down this polygon. Six. If we subtract it two, we get the number of triangles. Six. If we subtract it two, then we can get the number of triangles. So we can say that the number of triangles is equal to the number of sides minus two. Since this is a situation that always happens, we can generalize this result. So let's generalize this result. We have said, look, if I choose a vertex, I'm able to break down this polygon into triangles. And the number of triangles will always be two less than the amount of sides. So notice that here we have a five sided figures. And we were able to break it down into three triangles. But why triangles? Because we know one thing about triangles. We know that if we add the interior angles of this triangle, that's equivalent to 180 degrees. If I add the interior angles of this second triangle, that's also going to give me 180 degrees. And if I add the interior angles of this other triangle here, that's going to give me also 180 degrees. So we can say that if we add the interior angles of the triangles, that's going to give me the interior angles of the polygon.
So now we can create a formula. Now we can set the interior angles of a polygon. is equal to the interior angles of a triangle times the number of triangles that we have. But we know that the interior angles of a triangle is 180. And we know that the number of triangles will always be two less than the amount of sides. So let's introduce a variable. Let's say that n represents the number of sides. So within this figure, notice that the value of n is 5. So we go back to our formula, then the number of triangles can be displayed as n minus 2. Because this is saying the number of triangles is always 2 less than the number of sides. So we have created a formula. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is equal to 180 times n minus 2, where n represents the number of sides. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.